So what do we do about F throat, a common type of bacterial sore throat that's as common as strep throat between the ages of about 15 and about 30, but that doesn't show up on any of our common tests? Well, the good news is that the right antibiotics do a great job of treating this, especially if it's caught early. But they may not be the antibiotics that would otherwise be prescribed for a sore throat. So we have to have it in mind. Two possible ways of handling this. One is suggested in a fantastic article in the Annals of Internal Medicine is just to go ahead and treat until we figure out a test. Anybody between about the ages of 15 and 24, when it's very most common, who has a bad sore throat accompanied by at least three of these things. A fever, pus in the back of the throat, swollen lymph glands, and no cough. Any three of those, go ahead and treat with penicillin or another antibiotic that works for F throat. And even though I don't use antibiotics very much, this is a big enough problem that until we get a test worked out, it may be a good idea. The other way to handle it is just go ahead and treat sore throats the way that you would have otherwise, but be aware if it's not following the normal pattern. The normal pattern is for a sore throat to last three to five days. If it's continuing to get worse and worse, or if it's lasting longer than that, if there's shaking chills especially, or swelling in the neck, and especially if it's swelling on one side of the neck, then go straight to the doctor and ask about F throat. Now, they may still say, what? Because it's only in the last few years that this has been recognized. And you can answer Fusobacterium necroforum and jump on this before it becomes a big problem.